type of moment on almost day. You must be so excited now. So. Yeah, well, I'm very excited. Uh, I uh, feel like forever. It's great to be back. 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 It's great to be Legitimate European champion, so good record. He's a, he's a good fighter, he throws a lot of punches, hard work rate, good defence, never been stopped. Um, and he's a champion, he's coming over in his business. And um, things have got to be on my, on my A game. This isn't a gimme fight, this isn't an easy comeback, this is this is real stuff. It's what I need. I need to be stressed and stimulated. Um, could, could be under no benefit for this fight because it's not just about the win, it's about the performance as well. And uh, I can't wait to get stuck in. It's the obvious question, and obviously there's an obvious answer that you want to make a statement. But with this fight being your first one back after what happened over the road, is that even more more true this time? You need to make a statement, and it's on Sky, you know, in front of everyone. Yeah, I mean, we we broke the mold with Sky because this is a Salon show, you know, it's not, it's not a matching show. And lately, it's just been matching shows out there. So we don't want to impress um, Sky. They've obviously pushed to have me on Sky, and, um, and I appreciate that. We pushed for it as well. And uh, the best way to uh, repay that, um, that leap of faith, so to speak, is with, uh, with a win, but with a great performance as well. Um, they understand that I'm going to go on and do these things, I, I believe, and, and also be involved in some massive, massive fights uh, down the line. Next summer, it might be another unification clash, it might be a uh, a uh, world title fight against the British opponent that will, you know, capture the public's imagination again. So um, I have to call uh, you know, Sky for that and, uh, you know, as I say, to uh, deliver them the full package. The show's going to be fantastic. Um, Salad, got a fantastic show in Germany. Um, obviously, different culture but over here. You know, I think I understand the British market well enough and to give me some, uh, some, 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 some cracking. Uh, Back in bits and pieces for the five fans to make it down the line. Just one one for me about uh, Anthony Guerrero. Obviously, you mentioned it at work. I mentioned it at the press conference. Um, first of all, what do you make, make of that? And does it kind of excite you that there's already a buzz and speak about what could be your, your next world title shot? Yeah, I mean, it is. Uh, we kind of told me we've got the official letter or let, uh, headed paper, you know, we'll manage to challenge you in this fight. And uh, we said, right, let's see, we'll blow it up, put it on the gym wall. But uh, at the same time, I didn't want to tempt fate with anything. Um, it's certainly a massive motivation for me that that is the case, but at the same time, um, the same process is a uh, opponent, a great opponent, difficult fight, and um, it's going to get the job on Saturday night first. Uh, it's it's got to be done. Just in terms of the role, what would you make of him as a, as a fight with character? Um, I've spied him, you know, I know him. A little bit. We spent some time together out in uh, Miami a few years ago from Chief Alpha. Uh, despite him and his brother. Um, he's a very good fighter, a very, very good fighter, and I think our, our styles will certainly gel. We did box and we make for a fan favorite fight. Um, he's got a lot of courage, um, he's got the power, but 
you would be beer on after Sundays. To get on well with him when you when you sparred him on there, how, how did it go? Yeah, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. And, uh, I was a newbie pro. He hadn't had many pro fights either, so uh, you know he wasn't on the chunk of diet. Like, people change when it happens. Uh, so we'll see how he how he is now. But um, you know he uh, he's a very interesting character. Um, I'll be lax. I'm glad he's got a chance. In terms of the Durrell fight, you've already fought at one stadium, Wembley. Would you like to bring that fight over here and perhaps have it at Stamford Bridge, being a massive Chelsea fan? Yeah, of course. I think I think that fight, world title fight, would be a huge fight. I'd love to have it here in the UK. I think it would be here in the UK. Um, depends on what time of year it is, I think it, it would always sell well. Um, there is indoors or outdoors, it wouldn't matter to me. Uh, any fight at Stanford would be a dream. So, um, we'll see how we go. Uh, first of all, though, we've got to sort the uh, win at Wembley Arena this weekend. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, we've got a fantastic crowd in there. We're almost at capacity. There's uh, a couple more tickets up for sale. So, uh, yeah, we expect it to be sold out on Saturday. And you did some uh, sparring with uh, Triple G in the summer. What was that like and how much did that help you going into this fight and future fights? Great. I mean, he's a fantastic fighter. Uh, one of the best pound for pound. He's a week or so away from fight fitness. So, uh, perfect. Cool. Thanks again, Thank you so much, mate.